it's the Sunflower Showdown, and uh, it actually matters. What is up? Welcome back to the Big 12 Takeover. I am one of your hosts, Tyler Davis, joined as always by my good friend and co-host Donnell Davis on this Thanksgiving Eve. We are recording our preview for the Kansas at Kansas State Sunflower Showdown this weekend. Saturday night in prime time, baby. It's going to be a good time. Before we dive too far into that, I do got some housekeeping to get out of the way. As I mentioned, we are the Big 12 Takeover, part of the Takeover Sports Network right here on YouTube. If you don't already, subscribe to the network. Hit that bell, get your notifications when all of our videos release. Be sure to like, comment, let us know who you think is winning the games when we do these previews. Let us know your thoughts on the games when we're doing our recaps. And uh, just interact with us. We love talking to you guys. Um, you can follow along with the show on Twitter at Big 12 Takeover, just like you see it across the top of your screen there. Or if you're listening, at Big 1 2 Takeover. You can follow the network on Twitter at Takeover Pods. To get all of our videos as they release, when they release, there's also some times where we go live on there. Um, it's really cool. You can interact with the shows. It's a, it's a good time. Now, we are going to try to keep this short and sweet for you guys because it's Thanksgiving weekend. We know everybody's got family in town. We want people to spend time with their families. So if you're watching this in the future, this was recorded Thanksgiving Eve. It was on a Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Um also, we mentioned a daily live show coming. That has been delayed. Uh, that will be coming later this year or beginning of next year. People decided they wanted to have babies, and we've had to make some schedule changes for things. So uh, we will be back with that idea uh, in a few short weeks. Uh, but for now, Donnell, let's jump into this game. Oh, I also forgot to mention, we are brought to you by Prize Picks, and we'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But now we're going to jump into this game a little bit here. Kansas travels to Manhattan, the Little Apple as they call it, to take on Kansas State in the Sunflower Showdown. Uh, this is matchup number a lot between these two teams. <laughs> Here's some over/under information. The odds: Kansas State is finished or is is favored by 11 and a half. The over/under is set at 62.5. Whoa, that's high. That is a high, high over/under for this game. Um, especially with how Kansas looked last week. Um, Donnell, what are you taking? I think I know the answer, but what are you taking here? I am definitely taking the under on this one because, <laughs> wow. <laughs> a team that runs the ball and a team that, eh, yeah, I'm taking the under. What yeah, about I'm, you, my man? I'm taking the under here, too. I don't think there's any way this game gets to 62 and a half. Um, Kansas likes to run the football a good bit, just as well, you know, K-State does. Obviously, K-State's thrown the ball more as of late, uh, but they do run the ball effectively, I think, with what Texas put on tape last week. Kansas State will look to also run the ball um, a good bit more. I'm, than I'm trying not been. to talk myself into the take because <laughs> I think I just – I kind of no, did because KU has no defense, and they can score. KU can also score. Yeah, they can score. I mean – you look at kind of like what they average as a team. Um, they they score a good bit of points. I'm trying to pull this average up here. I apologize. Give me just a second. Uh, yeah, I mean, they average 34.8 points a game. And that's what, like, most of them without their quarterback who was averaging 40-some points a game. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah. I'm still taking the under. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take the under on this one, too. Uh, they've not. They've not. The last week does not give me any encouragement. No. Um, but let's jump into some storylines here. Uh, you know, for the sake of time, we want to move pretty quickly. I'll jump in. The Sunflower Showdown. Uh, this is a uh, this is a big deal, right? Like this rivalry is important. Donnell pulled the most interesting stat to me. Um, <laughs> and if you're if you're like a fan of these two teams, if you followed these two teams forever, you probably know this. Um, but Donnell. <laughs> this blew my mind. Just go ahead and, and say it. So So Kansas leads this series sixty five to forty nine over K State and Tyler yes. brought something up that was also interesting to me because I didn't think it made much sense. But what was the next stat that you saw? Yeah, yeah. So even though KU leads this series sixty five to forty nine, K State has won the last thirteen meetings. 
So like this was, you know, it was 65 to 36. I mean, that's a huge <laughs> gap. Um, it's that just kind of crazy. Like, and I think it just speaks to like recent, right? Like KU has been yeah. so bad for so long. It's hard to imagine a time where they were good. Um, and you know, this year they're good. They're, they're a good football team. Um, but it's just, it's, you know, one of those wild deals where like, you don't think it's possible. It's kind of like when you see the, like, if you don't pay attention to Oklahoma, Oklahoma state, if you look at the bedlam record, you're just like, holy cow, like, there's no way this is a rivalry. Um, this one's not quite that bad, but, uh, no, it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, what, what's your, uh, storyline here that you're keeping an eye on? Cause we got one big one we got to talk about. Kansas State plays defense and Kansas doesn't. Yeah. It's quite simple. Yeah, that's that is not a recipe for success. Um, the the knock on the Big Twelve has always been bad defense, and uh, Kansas definitely holds that up. So no. <laughs> they definitely hold that up. But the big storyline this week, and I'm very excited about this. I believe Donnell is very excited about this. Yeah. Is our boy Lance Leipold is staying with Kansas? He signed an extension. Uh, this happened late last night. Uh, for about both a sides. few hours ago, five hours ago or so, KU was obviously putting up all their videos and stuff. They're really excited. Their graphics. Uh, Lance Leipold sticking around, uh, at least through 2028, it sounds like. Uh, super exciting, man. Super exciting. It's it's good for Kansas. Um, I'm happy that they have a coach that wants to be there and wants to turn them into a consistently winning program. Uh, Kansas deserves it, in my opinion. Uh, when I went to their – I have been I went to two games of Kansas's this year. Of Kansas's, yeah. Sorry, I went to two of their games this year. One in Lawrence, one in uh, Norman. Both times, really, really good time. Uh, Kansas traveled pretty well to Norman. I thought, uh, considering they probably felt like they were, you know, gonna win that game. I'm not surprised. But um, when I went to the TCU game for college game day, it was jumping. It was loud. People were <laughs> into it. So uh, good for Lance and, and his family, and, and good for Kansas. This is a this is a great decision. Um, Puts yeah, those rumors good. about Nebraska to, to rest and Wisconsin to rest. Uh, Kansas on the up and up, man. They're, they're trending in the right direction. Yeah. I'm, I'm very excited for this uh, school, this program. And uh, all it does is make the Big 12 look better. So, uh, huge deal. Did you want to add anything to that? No, I agree with everything you said. You put it <laughs> nicely. That was, yeah. Good. I'm, I'm glad he's there. It's going to be great for Kansas, and it's great for him. Yeah, no, this is, this is awesome. Uh, so, let's jump into some players to watch. Um, for K-State, who, who you got? Well, Will Howard will not be playing, so all eyes are on Adrian Martinez. No, no, no. Will Howard is playing. Adrian oh, Martinez is, is playing. not playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. You have it backwards. Will, you have it backwards. Will <laughs> Howard is playing, which yes. makes them even more dangerous than Adrian yes. Martinez playing. But also, uh, Will Howard had some mistakes last week that he's going to be looking to clean up against this Kansas defense so that way he can get ready for the Big 12 championship game. But, uh, yeah, more tape. <laughs> like you say, more tape, more starts, more plants. Can you explain that a little bit to us, Tyler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, I like to, as I as I worded it here, more starts, more tape, more plans, right? So Kansas has more tape on him now. They've seen what's given him trouble. Um, I don't know that Kansas is the team that will be able to exploit that, uh, but they've seen it now. And there's a lot of smart people across the country, across the Big 12, that can game plan for this. And, uh you know, everybody is caught by surprise when you come in that first time. And nobody really knows what you're going to be, as it's been a couple of years since they've seen you. Um, th this is kind of that. Kansas has seen it now for a few weeks. I think Kansas will be ready. I think they'll give him a little bit of trouble. Um, and that's always something that's interesting. I always like to see how players bounce bounce back from that win. There, there's a noticeable difference when you go from being a backup who's playing to becoming the starter. Yeah. Um, that, that changes things. I went through that as a player in college, um, as, as a quarterback, uh, it, when I stepped in, in a game, it was way easier than it was when a team had been game planning for me. Um, it just changes kind of the dynamic and what kind of looks you're going to see. So who's your other player to watch? Uh, Deuce Vaughn. I know Kansas is going to stack that box because they can't stop the run, but they're going to try, <laughs> and they're going to try their hardest. So I'm I'm looking for Deuce Vaughn to go crazy because he's he's just phenomenal, and this is going to be his last game in Manhattan as a football player. So hey, Deuce Vaughn, go wild! Yeah, he's he's going to he's going to have fun. I mean, Bijan went crazy last week, so I expect him to do the same Very for crazy. Kansas. 
for Kansas, I just have one player to watch, and that's Jalen Daniels. Um, I thought last year he looked, or last year, last week he looked pretty rusty. Yeah. Um, looked like he'd been out a while, which he had. Uh, I looked. I'd like to see him bounce back. I think this is a, a big game for him, big opportunity on a big stage to uh, reintroduce himself to the world and say, "Hey, look, I didn't go anywhere. I've just been just been hurt." So, uh, Jalen Daniels, he makes this whole thing go, uh, and, and I want to see that happen. Uh, some things we want to see here. Um, what do you got for K State? Kansas State, you're in the driver's seat. Play like it. You're going to the Big Twelve Championship game. Play like it. Uh, I want to see them get their get the ball in their playmakers' hands, the people that have got them this far this season. Just do what you have to do. And you just alluded to it. Jalen Daniels is rusty. Force him to beat you from the pocket. Yep. We know he can run. Running is going to be the equalizer for Kansas. Running the football for Jalen Daniels can spark this team and it can cause issues for your defense, leaving holes open in the run game and the pass game off the run. So make them beat you from the pocket. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. I think for K State, it's you know if Jalen Daniels gets running the ball well, it just becomes that much harder to stop Devin Neal. Um, yeah. And and Devin Neal is a world beater. Man, that dude can run like nobody's business. Yeah. Uh, for Kansas, you know, for me, um, they've done way more than than anybody thought they would this year. Um, I think you're the only person I know that had them over four wins. Um, honestly, Probably, I truly, yeah. I truly mean that. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I, I, they've done way more. They have nothing to prove to anybody but themselves. And so I just really want to see them finish their Big 12 schedule strong. Finish strong. You, you've earned that um, that bowl game, and that's really exciting. But finish against a rival in a fashion that looks respectable. Don't go out here and get blown out. You know, don't don't have what happened last week against Texas happen this week. Like, you just, just go out there, finish strong, uh, give us a respectable final score, uh, you know, congratulate your coach for his extension and get ready to go back to work for the bowl game. Um, not to say they can't win this game. That's not what I'm alluding to at all. It's just like finish strong. Finish strong. That's all I'm asking. Yep. Um, and, and then the second thing for me is just Jalen Daniels to look better. Um, clearly, you know, he's been hurt. The talk was that maybe it was season ending. He came back. Um, you know, he, he looked – just rusty it, it didn't look bad i would say but like he was missing throws he normally made he was seeing the field a little bit worse than he usually does i think it's just going to take some time for him to settle back in and hopefully he can get settled back in before um you know things go awry uh donnell it's just about prediction time but i want to tell the viewers a little bit about prize picks so just in time for football season and all the seasons, we here at the Takeover Sports Network have teamed up with Prize Picks, and they have a special offer for all of our listeners and viewers. New users that deposit and use the promo code Takeover will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks is an easy way to play daily fantasy. You pick two to five players and an over/under on their projections, and you can win up to ten times on any entry. Price Picks offers every sport you can think of, like the NFL, college football, NBA, MLB, soccer, MMA, and more. And they also allow mixed sport entries. Price Picks has an award-winning, easy-to-use mobile app, which you can find both on the App Store and Google Play. And entries can be made in 60 seconds or less. It's that easy. So if you're looking for a fun and easy way to play daily fantasy, be sure to check out Price Picks and don't forget to use the promo code Takeover so they know we sent you. That's Price Picks promo code takeover or you can scan that qr code there and uh deposit your money and we will give you some cash as well and go win the monies win all the monies from us so that is prize picks our sponsor we greatly appreciate them sponsoring the prediction this week who are you taking in this matchup donnell Man, Kansas has had a great season they've had a great week with the extension of their coach they got Jalen daniels back it's it's like they're riding a high right well yep. they're playing kansas state it all comes to an end. I cannot faithfully sit here and pick Kansas to beat Kansas State on the road when Kansas State has everything to play for. Yep. I'm riding with Kansas State in that run game. And I'm riding with Kansas State as well. I think their defense is the difference maker here. Uh, you know, Kansas didn't score much against Texas last week. I think their offense will be much improved uh, this week with Jalen Daniels making a second consecutive start since the injury. K-State's defense is just too good. Will Howard makes this offense so much more dynamic. Um, I, I just don't think uh, Kansas is quite ready to compete in this matchup yet. 
Um, great year for Kansas. It's been a great year, and Kansas fans should be thrilled. I'm thrilled as just as a you know a, a bystander. Like it's just really cool to see Kansas be good at football again. Last time I saw them good was on NCAA when I was playing as them. So uh, you know it's yeah. it's really exciting for Kansas fans. I, I just don't know that they're good enough to beat Kansas State. Uh, so that's a that's a sweep for Kansas State on our end. Uh, let us know who you think is going to win in the comments and why. Uh, we love to read that stuff. We greatly appreciate it. If you don't already, subscribe to the network, the Takeover Sports Network, that is, so you can get all of our videos when they release. You can follow our playlist. You can turn on notifications. You can like all the videos. You can interact with the other, other shows on the network as well. And um, you can also follow our show on Twitter, at Big 12 Takeover, just like you see it across the top of your screen there. Um, and you can follow the network on Twitter, at Takeover Pods. Uh, as we've mentioned several times throughout, we are the Big 12 Takeover. We're so happy you spent some time with us today. And uh, we will sign off now. We'll be back later this weekend with our recap of the week. And uh, happy Thanksgiving from us here at the Big 12 Takeover. And congrats to Kansas fans for signing Lance Leipold to an extension. We'll see.